What's going on? Hey, 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 hey. You already know who it is, Midori John, back at it again, another video. I know it's really been a long time since I've uploaded a video and that's, that's completely my fault. Um, I, I don't really, I don't really know what to say. It's just, you know, life's just kind of been getting rough lately. I've lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of family. Uh, you know, quick lessons. It's just, you can't always trust the people around you type of deal. So it's just, it, it, it was just really hard for me to upload video. My focus, my focus just wasn't there. So, you know, I figured I wouldn't do it because, you know, I always believe in one thing, which is, you know, if you're going to do something, don't half-ass and just do it all the way. And I, I didn't want to give you guys some half-ass content that I know. Fuck, you know what? Fuck that shit. You know what? Let's get back to the motherfucking video. That's my first vlog for a long, since, since it's been a long fucking time. Probably like before Corona even started. So let me just get started on this vlog. I've been trying to get this K24 fucking running and I haven't even been working on it. I've just been hoarding parts, collecting parts. But today I'm actually going to be wrenching on it. I'm just going to get you guys uh, going. I'm going to show you guys what the fuck I'm going to do on this fucking build. Prep the motor for a swap. Hopefully I can get this finished by the end of January. Maybe mid-February. But I'm looking to do this real, real fucking soon just a couple updates i will be going turbo gonna be like a stock block stock k24 a turbo shooting for like 500 horsepower but that's it um shout out to all my friends and family who's always been supporting me throughout this whole journey and shout out to all the people that still message me to this day you know the guys that find my videos and they tell me like oh dude you know keep making them videos or keep uploading you know when are the new videos coming you guys are just really who i do this shit for and and it really means a lot to me that you guys support me because i'm only here for one reason you know, I just want to inspire you guys to do the same thing and, and to reach for success and to, you know, to have the best stuff and to be the very best person that you can be. So I, I really appreciate all the love. With that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and start it on this video. I have uh, Jalen here, JJ Easy. Y'all know this motherfucker, the motherfucker that vlogs like this all the way to his face and shit. He's here right now. He's working on his car. I'll show you guys to him. But you know, I'm just going to get started on this. Give you guys some update on the K, what's been going on and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. Yo, so the motor is right here uh, as we speak. I'm going to go ahead and take this valve cover off. I've already started on this. Basically, uh, there's a new timing chain on this. I put a new timing chain here. Let me just take this out real quick. Oh, bitch, it's so fucking nice. Low key heavy. I hope I can drop this bitch. Uh, the TEs are right there chilling. Someone tried to steal my car. I'll touch up on that in a little bit. But yeah, so I got the motor. I've been working on this right now. Uh, been working on it for a little bit. I had some stuff that I was doing, but I fucked up. So uh, I got the RBC manifold, or RBC manifold, fuck, the RBC manifold is in, but I meant the RBC cam gear, the 50 degree cam gear is in. Uh, I got a new timing chain on there as well, but the timing chain tensioner though, when I tried to put it on, I actually snapped the fucking bolts. Uh, one of them snapped, I tightened it to 10 foot pounds, I don't know why it snapped. Uh, with that said, I had to order some new bolts through Honda, but I actually have the bolts now, so everything is gonna be done today. Uh, the goal today is actually get this up and going. That way I can just bolt everything up and bolt the tranny up to it. I have the tranny over there too. So, you know, uh, that's the goal. Just get this uh, get this going. That way I can completely seal everything with Honda Bond and stuff and then just bolt the tranny. Put the subframe in next, uh, like, uh, next week when I get a day's off. And then fucking, yeah, just, just get to swapping. But, you know, uh, just a quick thing for you guys who are going K or who probably has a K right now, you're probably not gonna watch this cause you already know what the fuck you're doing. But if you're timing a K series, it, it really fucking helps to have these cam holder. Uh, this shit really helped my life a lot because I'm not very mechanically inclined. Uh, you know, I'm not a Honda fucking pro mechanic. So I just kind of get by with whatever I watch on YouTube and I'm kind of doing this everything on my own anyway. So if I can do this shit, you guys can do it too. Super fucking simple. These things are a fucking must. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop the fucking uh, part number for this Because uh, what they do is they hold the cam in place and uh, If you actually turn these fucking cam gear that those things only stick into uh, Stick into the hole in in one way So you can't really mess up the timing if you have those fucking cam holder So what you're gonna go ahead and do is just line these two marks up and then on the link There's gonna be these two links that are colored. There's gonna be one at the bottom but you want to go ahead and just get this little dot. If you can see that dot right there. You want to go ahead and just get this little dot right in between these two links. 
this little dot right in between these two links as well and then the very bottom there's gonna be uh, a little fucking arrow and you're gonna want to put that last link on that arrow and then that's gonna be uh, completely timed so Honda recommends that you change well actually not Honda but you know Honda doesn't recommend changing your timing chain tensioner but a lot of people do especially if you're going with like aggressive cams and stuff like that because these are known to fail the timing chain uh, they say it's not supposed to stretch but again they can stretch over time a lot of guys have had problems with this timing chain so I would just recommend maybe changing the timing chain as well as the tensioner and you can also get new bolts I have the part numbers for all these stuff if you guys want it the chain guy don't really wear out so you don't have to worry about the chain guide as much just those two fucking things so it's not really costly uh, I'm gonna drop the fucking the prices on that in the description or I can just do a full breakdown this motor I, I didn't get to record it I was just kind of wrenching because I was fucking stressed out but I actually have the type s oil pump in this already uh, that is going to be a must in a k24 K series build I've been looking at like ghost boy Aki and all those other guys and you know they recommend doing type s oil pump basically you can rev a lot higher and it's much healthier for the motor with that said I actually have the type s oil pump conversion in already and I sealed the oil pan around all the way with Honda bond so today I just have some stuff to do that little box I have the water pump that goes on to the fucking uh, water pump housing and then I have the bolts for the timing chain tensioner so I can finally close this up and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the timing chain cover on and uh, yeah that's pretty much it with the K series I just kind of probably I, I don't know I might I might just sand this down a little bit this was Lars's job I had I had him uh, sand down like the little towers little fucking things that way it's smooth but uh you know we never really got to finish it uh he's now in the navy shout out to my man so you know he out there working hard hardly working or whatever you know what i'm saying so shout out to him he's got a b series coming soon justine's going k series so pretty much everyone uh, that's in my group of friends are going k series so it's gonna be fucking fun to see we're out here gapping niggas you know what i'm talking about we out here boy so yeah let me go ahead and get started on this and i'll get back to you guys again Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just check the fucking torque spec on the chain guide. Just make sure that everything is on spec. This one's gonna be 16 foot pounds. So that's perfect. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and just put the timing chain tensioner bolts. And that guy, I do have the part number for that. I would recommend using a new one because I did snap the others. So that's going to be, I hope this shit focuses hella well. But I hope it's not that good because my nails look like motherfucking shit right now. So I ain't trying to I ain't trying to have y'all thinking I'm a dirty ass nigga. So yeah, that's the part number right there. We're going to go ahead and just put that bitch on. The bolt is fresh. This one is going to be at. Oh shit. 8.7. Oh, there it is. That's nine. You have to be really careful because it's very light. There it is. That's nine. So after you get that, just go ahead and just pull this and it should release the tension. And what a lot of people do is they actually just, just get that extra little tightness. You just want to This should be fucking stupid tight. This is tighter than your bitch's pussy. So that's that's in there, fucking. That motherfucker's in there, bro. So I'm gonna just go ahead and rotate the crank just a few times. Nothing is uh, jumping. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and just change this water pump because I gotta get this housing out anyway. And uh, I have to I have to seal all all of this. So let me go ahead and just get this water pump off while we're at this already. Because I do have a new water pump as well. So this is uh, the part number for the water pump. Uh, this is a genuine OEM water pump. We don't use nothing other than OEM. Uh, the way it comes from the factory, it comes, it comes with a gasket already. I don't know if I'm supposed to Honda bond the side of this, but I don't think so. Oh my God, Jalen, I don't think it's the right part, bro. Jalen. Oh my God. Fuck. Fuck me, dude. Fuck, bitch. Bro, I already opened this shit. All right, y'all, so um, I already opened this shit. I don't think I can return it. Um, it turns out that it's not the right part. I didn't know there was a difference between water pumps with the uh, K24s. So it looks like we have another setback here, boys. And I'm down a hundred and something dollars. I didn't know there was a difference between K24 water pump housings. Uh, I have a JDM K24 in my previous video I was talking about how to use the EP3 idler pulley to delete your power steering. So I used the USDM water pump housing and uh, when I bought mine I was under the impression that it was going to work because a dude told me it was an A2. Uh, turns out it's not an A2, it's actually the one for the CRV. So I bought an A2 water pump and it didn't fit. Um, that was the right part number that I showed but it's just not going to work out because it's not a... Uh, it's not meant for that water pump housing. I would end the video here, but we actually have a visitor here. Uh, I have Jalen and he's painting his valve cover and his girlfriend just stopped by. So we're just gonna roast her for the rest of this video. Ah, uh -huh. Boy, you look like you work at motherfucking Hot Topic, boy. Boy, why you got them little three-year-old strap-on shoes from front of the store, boy? You look hella ugly, boy. What is he doing? Boy, why your teeth so motherfucking yellow? Nigga look like Jalen valve cover in that <laughs> bitch. Boy, why you look like motherfucking COVID-19 if COVID-19 was a person, boy? What? What is he doing? Why your butt cheek look like that, boy? Huh?